Well, my name's Steve Camp, and I took on this project uh, out of interest in uh, biofuels. Last year, I uh, rented the district's conservation district's press, which would be the green one. I pressed my own oil, but I sent it to Ellensburg to get processed, and that was an expensive proposition, but I needed to get some oil processed here on the ground that I could run in some equipment, and uh, so we ended up with about 1,200 gallons of fuel that I ran in my pickup and one of our utility tractors. Uh, I was very impressed with my results. Uh, really liked what I had seen, and any issues I might have had were easy to deal with. But there's a lot of people interested in this project, so I think it's a good deal. For a couple of years, we're going to put this thing on a trailer and go around to different sites and demonstrate how this can be done for those people who are interested. Farming's been known as innovators, and uh, we're, we'd like to think we're one of many innovators out there getting the job done. It's a green product. You know, I mean, we're living in an era right now where everybody's looking at green. This is about as green as we can get. At this point, I'm very encouraged. I think it's a very viable project. I'd like to see it taken on uh, as, you know, as a community issue. You know, people can do it themselves, but economically, it's much more advantageous for several people to go together and purchase your equipment and time and make this happen. I hope this concept will be adopted by more than just farming. I mean, it can affect, as far as fuel, it's one of the answers to the fuel issues that we're having. We can take the dependency on foreign oil away. WSU is helping us with is to find out the properties of cameline and how we can utilize it in a rotational crop. Because in dry land areas, we're very limited as to what kind of crops we can plant to help rotate the cereal grains out. I think cameline has a part to play there, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm excited. You know, this, this is something I've been wanting to do and, and I finally reached a point where I'm okay with it. I've got enough information that uh, I believe the system is good to go. Uh, it's just a case of, of fine-tuning it now to fit our operation and hopefully in the process we can encourage others uh, to look at it and maybe do something. Uh, I'd like to see alternative fuels uh, a majority of our use, I really do. And I think it can be done easily in 50 years.